I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel and the website Global Math Institute. We are rounding up rounding applications based on decimal numbers with three interesting questions for you. I like you to pause the video, answer these questions and then look into my suggestions. Well, the question here is to write a decimal number in standard form for each description. Standard form is like this, right? Have a good look at these questions, answer, and then look into my suggestions. Question number nine. One tenth greater than 5.795. That is your first question. Then question number 10. One hundredth less than 10.123. And 11 is number with tenth place is twice that in hundredth place. Very interesting, correct? So I hope you got these answers. Let's look into their solutions now one by one. Well, in case you want to learn from me, you can always send an email on the address given. As you know, most of my students are doing extremely well. Some are right there on the top getting awards and scholarships like Akshay. After attending university, the winner of this year's Certificate of Achievement Shulik Leader Award is Akshay Kandilani. Great. Our student, Akshit, gets highest marks and the most prestigious Shulek Leader Award. You can be there. Join our classes and excel. Now, let's look into the solution one by one. One tenth greater than the given number. So, we are given the number which is 5.7. Nine five. One tenth means one out of ten, right? So one out of ten means zero point one. So that much greater means we have to add zero point one to it. You get the idea. And when you add them, what do you get? That is your answer. Perfect. That is how we have to do it. Perfect. So you can now write down the answer, which in this case will be adding them. Always start from the right hand side and you get align your decimals, you get the answer. Perfect. Now, the next one is one tenth less than this. Again, 100 means 1 over 100, right? Now, what is 1 over 100? When you divide by 100, decimal moves, right? And that is 100. Less than this number means. So, we have the number 10.123, we'll take away 0 0.01 and then get our answer, perfect. So, when you subtract, we get 311.10. So, that becomes the solution. Is that clear to you? Perfect. The last question here is, number with 10th place is twice that in 100th place. So you, you have to write only one number. So, you could write any number. I mean, this is your tenths place, this is your hundredths place, right? So, number with tenths place is twice that in hundredths place. So, I could write, for example, I could write like what? I can write two point. We want tenths place to be twice, right? So, if I write this as four, hundredth place will be two, half of this. You see that. We could also write 1 point, let's say 6, 3. Do you see that? So, like this, you can write many numbers. You get the idea. So, 10th place number is twice that in the 100th place. So, it doesn't matter what you write before the decimal. It could be anything, right? It could be 1, 91, whatever, right? But we are looking mainly on the 10th and 100th place. And that relation is given to you. Perfect. So, with that, we come to an end to very interesting questions based on decimal numbers. I hope you understand the concept. Feel free to write your suggestions. 
If you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for your time and all the best.